Doc already said it's hot in here. Uh, <laughs> ain't had no, they had no air. The girl cussed all the time. <laughs> Man <laughs> tried to sell us moonshine. Right, that's some good. <laughs> right. Hey y'all, uh, to this, the head. This Negro asked for a cortisone shot. Free shit. Free shit. What? Did this part that long part? What? Hey, 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 this part, that long part. What? Q, this is, listen, Q, okay, because Michael's going to tell me where to put this thing, and it always belongs right here. Hold on, let me show you how to do it. Too, Don't do it, just nah. leave it alone. I got you. You ready? Let me see. Hey, just leave it alone. <laughs> you, do that. you know you all know how to look. See how you did? Then you still messed it up. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop fighting it. Okay, right, fuck that. Stop fighting it, girl. Mm -mm. It's okay. okay. Showtime, let's go. It's on and popping. It's on and popping. Oh, you're like, you got too much HD. Right, right. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You should let me grease your scalp. No, I don't need my scalp. Mm -hmm. I know, but I mean, no, you still ain't never let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's T Marie, what's the show on Facebook? It's it's T Marie Radio Show. I T I T apostrophe S. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Yay! No, already we no bad. Um, it, 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 apostrophe S, S oh, okay, space. That's what I did. Yes. I T. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes. Hey, first thing y'all can do is go share. Yep. Got it. Um, got that it. really does yes. a lot for So everybody share. that is tuning in, share. hey y'all, please make sure y'all are sharing, sharing, sharing. Yeah, do we? Yeah. Now here we come. So yeah. share. Instagram too? Wait a minute. Instagram too? Q, you got to the radio show. Hey, Deontay. Oh, hi, Michael. Hi, Ron. T-E. Huh? E. Hi, E. E-N-T-E. Oh, I can't pronounce your name. It. Yep, right there. But hi. Nope, it was the second one. Nope, it was the second one. With the one. With the red picture. Okay, my bad. Q. U-E-N-T-E. Uh, uh. I thank you for thinking about flawless, but I know this piece of hair going to drive me insane. That's why we ain't even going to focus on it. No, after I get to start talking, I ain't get no shots. Some of that water. I ain't get no shots. I ain't get no shots. I ain't no shots. I haven't had wine. Say, hey, you want right to you wanna hit that jack? What's wrong? It's okay if he sits right here. Yes. No, he doesn't want to be on. Oh, yeah. Can you pass it on that, please? Thank you, brother. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Praise the Lord. And it's showtime. It's showtime. Uh, 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 um. We opening up with headlines. Yes. All right. We're gonna go straight. We're gonna hey, open up and then go into headlines. Say this headlines. Yeah. We just do your opening, but we're not gonna take a break. Before so we're we gonna okay. Headlines. Cool beans. Okay. No problem. Three, two, one. You are live. Say hey to everybody out there. Hey everybody. Let me know. We ready to start talking this thing too? Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your girl. Know. Oh my God! I just asked. Was we ready? Hi, Freddie. Hey, Freddie. Rita, what's up, everybody? It's your girl oh, that put me in the mood. Ah, I wish I could hear that. <laughs> it's your girl, T Marie. Welcome to It's T Marie Radio. So, you know, when it's Wednesday, when it's hump day, it's time to get over there and hump with It's T Marie Radio Show with Q in the building. Hi, Q. Hey, T. How you week been? My week has actually been very good. That's awesome. I love good weeks. It is. Had me a little nice little off day. Yes. And everything's been good. How about you? Oh, it's been great. Transitioning and all type of stuff, but it's been awesome. To that good next level. Yes. You know, I love the next level stuff, but we appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you guys. Every Wednesday from 8 to 10, you are here. And not only are you here, you are sharing and letting people know that you're here. And we appreciate it because we get more listeners and new viewers every week. So thank you for that. Good show today. Packed oh, show yeah. today. Full show. Good show today, though. So we got um, Dr. Crystal Champions in the building. Yay, I thought yay. she was bringing me some shots and stuff because y'all know my shoulders are back. Well, she didn't bring me that. She came to talk about what's the what's the month? Because I told her I couldn't say it. March is Lymphodemia Month. Lymphedema. Okay, Lymphedemia. Awareness Month. So if you don't Both. know what that is, you can go Google it right now. If not, she's going to tell you what it is. Absolutely. We're going to talk about of the elements of cancer survivorship. We can't wait to talk about that. That's going to be some good stuff. We all know somebody who has dealt with or is dealing with cancer, so she's going to help us get over that hump and tell us some of the things we should be looking for. Absolutely. Absolutely. And who else is coming? Because you know her. So if you guys <laughs> have been paying attention to social media, mm -hmm. T. Marie is hosting um, yes, I am. 
a fashion show and the one year anniversary and issue launch of Let Us Live magazine Yay! this Saturday. So the editor in chief um, and one of the performers and the guy who's over the fashion show, like they're coming out. So Dwayne Stovall and Raheem Brazil are coming in today. And awesome. then we also have Darius Bradley, who went from intern to CEO, Love and it. he is the founder of the Gatekeepers Agency. So wow. we're talk we got a full show today. Amazing people today. You know, we never give you bull crap, so we're not gonna start today, okay? Michael has his hands up, and that means he wants something to say. Yes, Michael. So we're doing the whole two hours today. Seems as if. Seems as if. Seems as if. Yes. Yeah. Seems like that's what we do. So instead of taking you on a break because we got started just a little bit late, well, Q's gonna go straight into headlines. There's some things I know he wants to talk about. Cute, look cute. No, Michael no. gave us these I'm instructions right, look, before we started. There are some right, things Michael? that I want to talk about. Right. So we're about to go into headlines. <laughs> right. So in the headlines, Catholic churches in the headlines again. Uh, yeah. I mean, they stay there, but what's so cool? there are 395 Illinois priests and deacons that have been accused of sexual misconduct. I mean, 395. So 395 Catholic clergy members in Illinois have been accused of sexual misconduct, but church officials have only informed congregants of a fraction of those who have faced allegations, according to the attorneys who represented the clergy's victims. So, yeah, why? Why is it the I, Catholic you know, Church? No, No, it's because they don't let them people have girlfriends, I think, and wives, and they just gotta find something to do. Like, I don't know, why are you going to go get the little boy, like, I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out, but it's something about being in that arena, that atmosphere that causes them to do that. Everybody not built to not have sex or relationships or whatever, you know, somebody, somebody need an outlet. So like, this is what I want to know when it comes to the church, like the, the Baptist church, the Christian church or whatever. Oh, sure. So, well, this particular church. So if the pastor has an affair with his secretary or something like that. Uh -huh. And, you know, mess goes on in the church. Uh -huh. Oftentimes, you know, people's faith tends to be tested. And then they want to question the church. And then they want to back out from the church. Do you think people really do that with the Catholic church? Well, you know, the way the Catholics believe is kind of totally different. They're, they don't have a wavering faith, per se. They almost... Uh, follow it kind of a uh, culturist, you know what I'm saying? So they really did you just make that word. Up? I didn't. If you don't like it, go find you another word. But that's kind of what they do. <laughs> they kind of, you know, become like, you know, to follow it to a fault. You okay. know, they truly believe in it and they, no matter what happens, they find a way to excuse it because for them, they believe in more in the, the, the water of Mary or whatever they do, whatever they believe in. You've been to the Catholic church before? No, nope, but they believe in more of that. You know what I'm talking about? I've never and, heard about Mary's water. Yeah, it's some water that Mary got something to do with. I don't know. But <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, yeah, okay, that boy. That boy. Got that you, boy. got so it's you. It's got a lot to do, with, you know. But either way, they their faith never wavers, no matter what happens. A lot of times, we as Christians and other people and believers or whatever we do, we make our faith. We put our faith in the man and not in the movement, you know, God, you know, in the work. Whatever. In the spirit, the power. Thank you, honey. Get my words right. You would think I didn't believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I don't know nothing about Jesus, but what's the next thing? All right. So, the next thing. Um, we didn't get the opportunity to discuss this last week. Okay. Um, so, shout out, first of all, to Instagram, Facebook, and all that for coming back up and being a part of what we do every week. However... This better be good. Oh, it is. So, the college admission scam. I don't care nothing about that cue, but go on. You don't? No. You know what? We'll forget I, it then. I don't, because, you know, here's the thing So, next that. in headlines, <laughs> Wendy Williams announced there that she's been getting treatment for addiction. Yeah. So, as we know, Wendy Williams was off the air for quite a few months. Yeah. Um, you know, suffering from Graves' disease. Then, allegedly, her shoulder was broken, but there were other things that were going on. When she came on the show, a couple of days ago and She's announced right. that she was in a sober house <laughs> that's what they call I've never heard of a sober house uh, but it's like like some living in Alcoholics Anonymous yeah. type stuff she's been yeah. dealing instead with instead of calling it a treatment center she calls it a sober house sober house mm -hmm. yeah so what you got what, what you got to say about that because you were very you know I'm just you know Wendy the one thing about Wendy that we've talked about before she's always quick to throw other people under the bus for so much of the same things but then when it happens to her, she wants you to have empathy, sympathy, and all this other stuff, you know. And she always was talking about still people being on drugs and still people being on different things while she was herself battling that addiction. So you have to be careful where you put your mouth on people. 
because that thing will come right back on you. You gotta really, really be careful. So where, where I hope she continues to recover, where she said she just guessed God was keeping her during that whole time because she never went to an actual treatment center. Um, we, we, you know, it's going to take some things, but, you know, whatever, Wendy. But good luck, Wendy. Yeah. Again. Whatever, Wendy. We, we know. Okay. We got you. Oh, yeah. Lord. Don't say it ain't so. This just <laughs> ends. Again. Breaking news. Mm -hmm. Y'all, Frederick Douglass done died. <laughs> 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 that was for you. <laughs> y'all take me on this damn commercial break. I can't stand y'all. When we, we, we come back, we, 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 to, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> champion is in the building. Y'all they better make me cuss. It's TV Radio Show right here on Power One Eight Point Nine. He's <laughs> No, that's, you know, that's become a bit because you know so what happened a couple of weeks ago michael we were finishing up the show and he had told somebody from the spinners was it yeah <laughs> somebody from the spinners had died and we're like oh no and, try googling real quick they've been dead. that man been dead for two years <laughs> and so as a part news. of the show yeah. our breaking news is you know we read dead <laughs> people <laughs> that have been dead they for a long dead. time <laughs> Right. So ridiculous. Um, I think I Raheem is on the way up now. They're about they're parking. Um, just text me when. Uh, Hi, Lori. Hi, Harold. Taking your dinner. Because <laughs> if not, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raheem is on the way up. So give him about three Pastor minutes. Pastor Johnson is Bring here. Bring him back on at the twenty. Okay. I don't know. Doreen told me Pastor. Right. Oh, hey, Pastor. Jo Listen. Pastor we got the pastor okay, over there. Pastor we Johnson. got a question. Listen, Pastor Johnson. Okay. Pastor Johnson. I understand. I love like, you. I thought this was your son when but he walked I in. I mean, I ain't know. I was like, is this like. I love you. I'm like, and you I love the Lord. Yeah. That's just my disclaimer. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Yeah, they said Okay, they down here in front of the rocks. All right. They son looks more like them, trust me. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I think they cloned. Come back on on the twentieth, okay, y'all. Okay. Twenty. I think they cloned them, maybe like. Uh, Are you guys sharing? Sharing, sharing, sharing. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. All right, so bring them back on the twentieth. T. Marie. Hey, doing? sister chef and pearls. Oh. Um, yeah. Want to get them from downstairs? There's an event. Do you got coming? Don't let him something? talk because. Okay. He will he will get in. And I'm not he, he loves the conversation. I'm not okay, talking. Love y'all show. He loves the conversation. Okay, we won't. And Q, huh? What I'm about to say? What you no, about to say? No. And Q, he does this too. He gonna be sitting there listening to the show. He gonna be like, mm-hmm. Okay. I know we heard him over there. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Just check him. Be like, just do, look at him like this. Just like, just like, just do that. So. I, I go get the who, who's downstairs? Raheem and um, hey, Dwayne. Hey, Brandon. Okay. Thank you for sharing you the page, guys. I appreciate it. Apple jump? I mean, in the. Oh, Apple. is it? Will it reach? Absolutely, it will. Yeah. It's and then oh. what we'll do is I'll, I'll let them stay outside, um, stay in the lobby until y'all finish with this one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Wait, Michael, I got people here. You know, I do all that. <laughs> hey, you what? Ooh. Don't be ashamed. Of who I'm you not. Are. It ain't got nothing to do with being ashamed. Do. I just don't put everything out there that I do. What they got to do with being ashamed? Be ready. Right. The 20 baby boy. <laughs> you can bring them into a record if you want to. Yeah, but just, just, stay, just do the extra man. <clears throat> Look, by the summertime, we're going to bring ourselves back in and team a reason song. Yes, I am. It's yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Good be boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. No more. It's gonna be called wet boyfriend. Oh, no, That's like what? Wet? Wet boyfriend. Wet, 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 wet be, boyfriend. It's just gonna be called wet, 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 and then in parentheses, boyfriend. it's gonna say boyfriend. Wet boyfriend. Wet, 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 wet. Hey, y'all, songwriters out there, we need y'all. We I got a song. Huh? Yeah, I'm wet boy reaching out to all the songwriters. That's we right, because what they don't know is I really do got a voice. I just need to be trained a little bit. It was something then, that's coming up that what? I'm like, you should be singing it. Oh, on Saturday. Oh, you I, should be performing. Like you I'm should like, introduce what's the song? yourself. I'm right. Sing go, on the mic. Let me go practice. You ready? Yeah, be shot. Kind of man, baby boy. Thank you for sharing with me. Y'all ready? I hear our music. <clears throat> Did you plug in? Q? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yes. We're back, you guys. Welcome to It's T. Marie Radio Show right here on Power 108.9. We're still here for some of the people who tried to say that we weren't going to be, but ah, guess what? We 
are. Shame on you. Not going nowhere. Shame on you. Let me put this pen down. But thank you for real for tuning in. <laughs> I greatly appreciate you for following us, listening to us. You can check us out on Power 108.9. Uh, it's Team Re Radio Show, Q's page or my page. And go ahead and share. Whatever you're watching from, go ahead and share that. We appreciate that so much. So, Q, uh, it is... March and March mm-hmm. is one of my favorite months because your birthday it's my birthday. Right. However, yes, March is also also oh sure also <laughs> National Lymphedema Awareness Lymphedema Lymphedema Lymphedema. I said it. Five you said times. it right. Awareness Month. Yeah, I don't say And that. in the building we have Dr. Crystal Champion, who is also Yay. the author of yep. the Elements of the Elements of Cancer Survivorship. Yes, give it up for Dr. It. Crystal. Now you gotta pull up on that mic, yeah, Dr. yeah. Crystal. Gotta you gotta get pull in. up on the mic. <laughs> How you doing? I am great. How are you all doing? Good. Thank you for great. tuning in. I'm tuning in. Coming on. I can mess it <laughs> up today. Thank you for coming and joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So let's talk about lymphedema. Did I say it? You did. Yes. Oh my right, God! Lymphedema, <laughs> because a lot of people may they we hear a lot, a lot of different cancers, mm-hmm. but this one is new to me and probably to a lot of our viewers. So let's talk about what that is. So, um, as you guys said, March is National Lymphedema Awareness Month, and um, lymphedema is a condition that um, what I say is underdiagnosed and underrecognized in a lot of people. Um, so, lymphedema is a condition of chronic swelling. Um, it's characterized by heaviness in the limb, swelling, sometimes pain. Um, a lot of times, the swelling can lead to skin changes, oh. and oftentimes, it's a result of or a side effect of cancer treatment. Mm. So, someone that's had um, breast cancer surgery or they may have had lymph nodes removed, they have the risk for developing the condition of lymphedema. So, so anytime radiation is involved, mm. lymph nodes are disrupted, um, and not only just cancer patients, it can also be someone that's had trauma or a condition um, with the veins called chronic venous insufficiency. All of those things can contribute to lymphedema. Um, those are called secondary lymphedema. Someone can also be born with an impairment in their lymphatic system, which is known as primary lymphedema. And where's that located? Because we don't know that. Like, like the lymphatic, I, I kind of feel like it's lymph nodes. Is it, that it, it is. You're exactly right. right. So, um, the lymph system is a system in the body that is also connected to your immune system. Mm. So, wherever you have blood vessels, um, arteries and veins, you have lymphatic vessels that run alongside that. Those vessels are connected to lymph nodes that help to filter toxins um, out of the body. So the lymph system is a very important system um, in the body to help cleanse your blood, to detoxify whatever your mm. blood can't circulate, the lymphatic gotcha. system takes over okay, um, and circulates that. And we need to know more about this because we don't hear this stuff mm-hmm. and we'll be like, oh, we didn't even know we had that. We don't, didn't even know we had these things going on. So let's talk about kind of, or not even kind of, let's talk about how people need to know about certain things that's in their bodies and, and how the, the cancers are coming we're not even knowing you know that they're showing up in these certain places mm-hmm. um, a, a lot a big part of rec- the recognition of cancer is you know going to your doctors and getting your regular screenings getting your checkups getting your blood work you know for women 35 and over um, get your mammograms it used to be age 40 they've now lowered that to age 35 wow. Wow. so getting your mammograms for my men getting your prostate your testicular screenings um, you know, getting your colon cancer screening. What yes, age you. is recommended for a man to get the screening? Um, usually for colon cancer screenings, they usually recommend ages 50 plus, but any, a man at any time um, can get screening for prostate cancer, okay. testicular cancer. So that's just um, as simple as having a doctor do an exam okay. for you. So um, they're, they're, those are even exams you can do at home. Like women can do breast self exams mm-hmm. at home. Um, so staying on top of your health is very important to know what those signs are, um, listening to your body um, and knowing, you know, if something doesn't feel right, mm-hmm. listen to it, go and get it checked out, don't wait. Um, you know, these days and times, cancer is not necessarily a genetic thing. There are a lot of environmental things that mm-hmm. contribute to that. Right. Um, so it's very important to, to check in with your health and, and make sure you listen to those warning signs that, hey, something isn't right. Does this seem like we're having more cancer uh, popping up lately. I mean, we were talking about environmental that's because mm-hmm. it seems like every time you turn around, somebody else is getting mm-hmm. and even yeah. younger. You mm-hmm. know, like you used to think maybe it was older, but mm-hmm. I'm seeing people younger who you think wouldn't even get or or be around anything mm-hmm. or doesn't run in their family. Mm-hmm. Like, what is causing that to happen? I do believe a lot of it is environmental. 
Um, and, you know, being a physical therapist by trade and, and treating a lot of people with cancer, there's a lot of factors. Like I said, there is a genetic component. A lot of it is what we eat. It's our diet. Mm -hmm. You know, obesity can lead to your, your risk of developing cancer. Smoking, um, heavy alcohol consumption. Um, things that are inflammatory to the body, a wine lot of sugar. Count. Does wine count? <laughs> yes, wine counts. Uh, no more Moscato. Ugh. And I see we both or tequila. at at um at risk right now because I'm technically for my height I am obese. Oh mm -hmm. no! I went to the doctor today. Like I'm uh -huh. like 40 pounds over where I should be. So let's talk about the the elements of cancer survivorship. What made you write this book? So um, there's a little bit of a story behind it. As I said, I'm a physical therapist by trade, and right now I specialize in the treatment of lymphedema, and I do cancer rehabilitation. So um, in my practice, I encountered countless patients who'd undergone cancer treatment, and you know, once they're done with their surgery, their chemotherapy, their radiation, they often say, okay, Dr. Champion, now that I'm done, um, I can't raise my arm or you know I ha I'm left with this impairment or I want to go back to work but now that I've had cancer treatment I don't have the energy mm -hmm. so um, you know they often say well what can I do what how can I restore my quality of life and you know the doctors are telling me now that you're done there's nothing else we can do this is something you have to live with that mm -hmm. you're done right. wow. um, and I was tired of hearing that over and over mm -hmm. and over mm -hmm. so um, the elements of cancer survivorship came about because um, I started my own nonprofit cancer foundation okay. called Champions Can Foundation for Cancer Wellness Incorporated. Okay. It is a nonprofit organization that advocates for cancer survivorship regardless of what the diagnosis is. Mm -hmm. So it's teaching people to be advocates for themselves, knowing the proper questions to ask your medical professionals. So the elements of cancer survivorship, a guide to navigating the journey came about through myself and um, a dear friend and also the vice president of my foundation mm -hmm. who's a breast cancer survivor, mm -hmm. we teamed up and said, hey, you know, th these are the questions people need to ask. Um, as a breast cancer survivor, her name is uh, Dr. Marcia Dupree, sorry. Um, you know, she said, these are the questions that I had as I navigated my journey and this is so important for people to know. So, you know, knowing what questions to ask your medical providers, you know, what does your insurance cover? Uh, what is your life going to be like during treatment? How, how much of a disruption is that going to be to you? What alternate treatments um, are there? Mm -hmm. uh, what can you expect after the treatment? What other medical professionals are you going to encounter? Are you going to see a counselor? Are you going to see different medical specialists? Are you going to see a physical therapist or a lymphedema therapist to help regain that strength or treat any swelling mm -hmm. or side mm -hmm. effects that you may have? Um, so that's how the guide came about. And like I said, again, it's for people with um, all cancer diagnoses. It's not just for, you know, breast cancer or prostate. It's for anyone or any caregiver. If you're supporting a family member or friend that has cancer, this is something you can read to learn how to help to support that family member or friend through their journey. That's important as well. That support system, encouragement, um, being there for that person, knowing what to do, what to say, all of that goes mm -hmm. into cancer survivorship and I'm a big proponent to say cancer survivorship begins at the time of diagnosis wow. yes. and I was actually going to um, ask a question mm -hmm. about that when it comes to being diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. or any other ailment mm -hmm. you know mental health is just as important getting through it mm -hmm. so do you suggest counseling for yeah. you know for anybody that's diagnosed or anybody that's dealing with somebody who may be diagnosed Absolutely. Um, a lot of times when, when dealing with a cancer diagnosis, it's really overwhelming. And a lot of times people need an outlet. Like I said, sometimes you have a support system. They want to help you, but they don't know what to say, right. how to say it. Or that, that person that's undergoing the, the diagnosis and treatment, they, they don't want to burden that loved one with the heaviness of having to deal with that diagnosis. Right. So I'm all about... Um, your, your body follows the mind, mm -hmm. so if that mind is fresh and clear and hopeful and, and restorative in thinking, then I think the body will follow that as well. So I'm all for mental health counseling if needed. And it's not anything to be ashamed of or, right. or afraid of. I think there's a big stigma against mental illness and mental mm -hmm. health these days, but it's so important, especially in the society that we deal with in terms of the stresses, you mm -hmm. know, dealing with cancer, with the treatments, you're out of work or you can't interact with your children the way that you want to, or you can't enjoy some of the activities that you want to enjoy. So um, getting that mind frame in, 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 into a frame of healing right. is crucial to healing of the body and ultimately becoming a cancer survivor. So they need to understand that it's going to start a lot with the way you think. Absolutely. How do they get to that point, though? Because 
they're so bogged down and then talk about how the people around them mm -hmm. can help them start to think that mm -hmm. way because it is such a big part of their healing mm -hmm. so being positive it, to me it's all about restoring hope um i feel that people in our generation have lost hope you know you hear mm -hmm. something negative and you tend to cling on to that mm -hmm. and say well there's nothing else that can be done i'm done for this is it this is the end that is not true. There are so many advances being made um, in cancer diagnosis and treatment. That's why you're seeing a lot of it more. It's just more diagnostic tools gotcha. available out mm -hmm. there so people are catching it earlier right. and you see more of it. Um, are people being diagnosed earlier and earlier? Yes, that is true. Yeah. I do, like I said before, I think a lot of that is you know, environmental um, components and things that we're exposed to. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to restore that hope and you have mm -hmm. to have surround yourself with positive people. Right. Um, you can't let that one bad apple spoil the rest. Yes. Um, and you, because it's not a death sentence anymore, it's not. Is you can now survive it and, and think and knowing that probably plays exactly. a big part. Exactly. And I always tell people, I don't care if it's stage four, mm -hmm. it's metastatic, mm -hmm. it's here or there. I've seen testimonies and success stories of people that have beat cancer when the doctor said, hey, you have five months to live or there's nothing else we can do. But that positive mindset and that spiritual connection, that belief, Anything is possible if you believe and you have hope. Yes. I greatly appreciate it. Tell us where we can find the book, where people can pick up the book, where they can find you. Um, and if they need to talk to you or come see you, tell us where we can find you. So the book is available for download on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So just go to Amazon, type in The Elements of Cancer Survivorship, and that will pop up for you in paperback print as well as Kindle edition. Mm -hmm. um, for my foundation, Champions Can Foundation, you can go to www.championscanfoundation.org to learn about things that we have going on. We do have an event coming up March 31st in celebration of Lymphedema Awareness Month. It's called Painting with a Purpose. Nice. And it's that painting at its, with a twist in Sandy Springs. So we're going to learn about lymphedema, paint, have fun, eat food, and just spread awareness about what it is. Are we gonna drink no wine drinking? As well? You know, we like to go. We're waiting on the wine. We're waiting on the wine. And so, since there's no sipping, we'll just have our own little container. We're talking right here. Dr. Champion, thank you so thank much you. for coming to educate us. We can't wait to be able to support you. We want all of our viewers to support you. And uh, we, everybody, please come out to the event one more time so they'll know. The, the, again, it's uh -huh. Sunday, March 31st, right. from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at Painting with a Twist in Sandy Springs, Georgia. And how can they follow you? You can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash champions can or www.championscanfoundation.org. Y'all give it up for Dr. Champion, everybody. Woo! Up next is more It's Marie Radio, so you guys keep a lot. Oh, we'll yeah. be right back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Woo! Wednesday. Thank you, Dr. Chair. Thank you. Okay, you said we can download so it, right? We got yes. So I want to share it. The link where I can it. share it with people. Oh, thank you so much. Well. I want to definitely be able to share this. I need okay. my back um, man manipulated. You know, you know, you know, like for real, the lady told me my back was like hard like a brick. So I'm holding I'm this on stress website. and stuff yes. in here. Please do. Oh, yeah. So like I said, really physical therapy. Um, even though I specialize in cancer rehab, I do general therapy as well. You so do. I do. I do. Myofascial mobilization. Myofascial mobilization. Hey man, I knew that. No, okay. okay. Yeah. Like really, keep your muscles together. Yes. Get it right over here. Okay. <laughs> take this one, please. Oh, I got you. Oh, oh no. You, um, you got it. You got it. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on. To stay uh, tuned in. We'll be right back. Yeah, right here. Eddie, like a comedian. Which one? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Griffin. That one. Eddie Murphy. You don't do that when I'm walking behind. Where the picture? Oh, okay. I got you. All right. Y'all, we coming. You know we have to do our picture. I don't know about that. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to me
We gonna drink our wine in it? We gonna drink right. I'm gonna have a flag popping up. We good. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you, Dr. Chairman. Uh, man, I'm here in the gym. Uh, hey, guys. Yeah, what you were saying was like, can you hear me? Yeah, I so, couldn't hear myself. Hey, so guys. These microphones so, we got so much to talk about. I do have a question of the day. We have another oh, guest that should have to come in here. But I need to ask you guys right now. Go ahead and ask you. Q had this question posted up, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to definitely Uh-oh, be the question on, no, the of the mark, the day. So I need to know, if you're single, why somewhere. are you single, or why do you think so many people are single? So that's the, the question of the so day. That's the question of the why day. Are why are you single? To so you single folks out there, yeah, to why those of you who are engaged like, and or married, you are not single, right but you now. can't answer. I'll be back. Why? Think about some people. People that are in relationships. You can't answer. Dead. Okay. No. Why are you single? Why do you think people are single right now? And do you think people are having too many standards? And if they have these standards, can they live up to their own? I think that's a big question. So many of us, mm. I think you're supposed to have standards. I definitely believe in standards. Mm. But I also believe in the fact that if you have standards, can you hold yourself up to the standards that you have? That's mm. very, very important. So let's talk about that. We have another guest that's about to come in. But y'all ponder on that and I want to have a conversation with the crew when they get in here and I want to hear what they think but why are you single? Why are you single if you're single? What, what music do you want um, to bring you in? Uh, what kind of music? Well, what song was it? No, it's not it's this one. I think it's, yeah, it's this one. That was like a song. She was like, ooh, I feel that. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I don't remember, I don't remember what it was, though. I'm trying to get a, a sense of what kind of music. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't know what the song was, but I, I definitely, yeah, it was something. It was something. It was something. <laughs> I just don't remember what it was. I don't think it, I definitely wouldn't uh, know a title, that's for sure. James Worthy? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. We're about to bring this ish back. Cue the book of 6,422 guests today. Thanks. How many guests have got three? Yeah, we got three guests today. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah we usually we have two and allow us some talk time, but we have three today. So, and that's all good. We appreciate everybody coming and wanting to come sit in on our show. Right. Boom. That's a big Y'all deal. Y'all have to share. Oh, that's fine. Long time to see, baby. How you doing? How you been? I'm good. I've been hey, working. Hey, that's the way. Hey, what's going on, son? I'm Eddie. Who? Eddie. Oh, okay. Eddie. 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 I'm right here. That's Dwayne. All right. Thanks for having us, girl. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Hey, y'all. All right. Um. Oh yeah, y'all could. Y'all could share. Yeah, we all need. How long we got? Like another 60 seconds? Bring yeah. it in. Yeah. Another 60 seconds, can you? Actually, we can go right now. Right? You Count down 30. You? What? What is it? You can host the yeah. I know, but do what I ask you. Could you just, why do we got to do this in front of company every time? <laughs> I don't even understand. Timmy, every time. Every, I mean, like for real. <laughs> you should. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, I don't even know why we gotta cut up like this in front of him. Cause you be acting up. You! Ready? It's on you. Alright, and we're back. I don't are, are we? We are? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're back. Yeah. I guess we're back, guys. Right. This is T Marie Radio Show. Yes. Thank you guys for continuing to stay tuned in Thank to everything you. we got going on. Thank you, Dr. Champion, um, for speaking about Lymphedema. Why would you, you know I can't say it? But you did good. When well, you don't think not, about it, it you do. It was fresh on my mind. After that, it's gone. But yeah, well, that. anywho, <laughs> like we said at the beginning of the show, if you guys are in Atlanta yes. and have been following us on social media, T Marie is hosting an amazing event this week. I so am. it's a one year anniversary party. Yes. It's a release of issue number two and also a fashion show and performance. But let us live magazine. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I can't wait. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. guys, that's a lot to put into one show and one atmosphere. How are you gonna do all that? 
Well, we keep a strict schedule. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no one. Listen, <laughs> well, I got the little that. agenda thing. I'm like, this is they on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? They want me to keep to this? <laughs> well, that's great, though. Yeah, so yeah. We, we definitely want to say thank you oh. for agreeing to come on board as our official host. Absolutely. Yes. It's my, my pleasure. Building, y'all. My yes. pleasure. So, yeah. we didn't, I guess, properly introduce you guys. Okay. So, Dwayne. Okay. Is the one you find at the magazine. Yes, yes, so yes. tell us about the magazine and how it came about. Okay. Um, well, as Q mentioned, I am Dwayne Stovall, the CEO and founder of Ill World Magazine. And Ill World Magazine actually was birthed um, back in about 2013, around the ending of my college time when I actually went to school for a career as a engineer. So right now, career wise, I am a uh, software engineer. I'm so I need some stuff. <laughs> and, um, and I think what it was is that I was surrounded by so many different minds that I realized that everybody had their own um, ideas of what living was. And so I was the type of individual, I was an advocate for different people, the type of things that people did. And I was a little bit more curious as to, you know, how I could, could give back rather. So so what I decided to do was I decided to create LUL Magazine, um, which stands for Let Us Live, so that people can have a platform to be able to talk about different ways of living. My way of living may be different from your way of living. Mm-hmm. However, that doesn't mean that my way of living is way better than yours. And so I also realized that celebrities always have people, you know, um, wanting to tell their stories. But what about us? What about people who are living the day-to-day lives trying to make something of themselves? Our stories are just as important as theirs. So that means issue number three. <laughs> be right, I'm I mean, what we need to shoot I mean, the what's show up? What like, we gotta do? Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was a um, it was a struggle. I mean, getting into something that I had never done before was definitely something that I was afraid of at first. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I had to realize and say, well, you know what, Dwayne, you got just as much as power as anybody else. And you have right. a story to tell just like anybody else. So why not start small and grow? So I've been taking my time and I've been actually starting out. So the first one uh, was released last year in Mar- on March 3rd, actually, um, which was called If I Told You the Truth, Would You Still Love Me? Wow. Ooh, Ooh, that needs so to that be a, That's the title of my book. That's the title of your book. If <laughs> your, I told you the truth, baby. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And that was a success, and, and actually Raheem was the one that kind of hosted it and kind of helped out there. He came down to Orlando, and I'll let him tell a little bit about his experience. So, um, well, it was for that that event. It was it was, it was definitely something different, um, especially an event that I've never kind of been to because it, it allowed people to like really get on stage. Like the people that he featured, they actually got on stage and um, went a little bit more in depth with their stories. And it was really such an empowering event. And I've never seen a magazine to do something like mm-hmm. that. To where as though you have your features, but you then allow your features to come up and tell their stories. Mm. So it, it was it was definitely something that was life changing. It, it you know it was a wake up call for a lot of people in the room. Yeah. We laughed, we cried. It was it was it was definitely <laughs> a um, a good experience. Yeah. So, yeah. would you guys say that's something that we have to look forward to this weekend? Is it going to be, like, emotional? Are people gonna Well, it's going to be a little bit different. Yes. Okay. Cause I'm <laughs> a lot of it different. My makeup going to be done. Your lashes. I don't yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, I'm we're not, confident now. Yeah, we're not going for the emotional okay. ride this time. Um, yeah. Definitely going to be entertaining. Yes. Okay. So, that's a different uh, lash Speaking look. of yes. entertaining, your performance. Yes, I am. Yes. yes. So... Tell us about that. What do we have to look forward to from this performance? Well, um, definitely going to be a, a comeback for me. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that I haven't seen you in a while. Um, you know, I stepped away from music a little bit. And now that I'm coming back, um, I definitely think it's going to be such a, you know, wonderful thing to be able to, to sit in front of the Atlanta audience. Mm-hmm. And um, different people that I care about, Dwayne care about, and everybody that's been kind of like supporting us to kind of see, um, you know, just such a dynamic performance right. that and I'm gonna get y'all. So y'all just yeah. have to come in and just yeah. enjoy it. Enjoy it. You know what What's the power in stepping back to come back up? Like we needed that time. Let's talk about needing mm-hmm. maybe just that time so you could come back. Right? Yeah. Well, I I always believe that God works in mysterious ways, and everything that you do is connected to your purpose. Oh, mm-hmm. And at that time, I did not know that stepping away from music would be something that um, was a learning experience for me. At that moment, I just thought I was just um, untalented or 
couldn't find inspiration and I was in like a dark space where I was like, I can't create for nothing. But for me, it was just kind of like, well, now it makes sense because I had to take a back seat in order to empower other people's careers. So that's what I've been doing in the background, empowering other people's careers. So now that I've done that for a while, um, I just felt like, you know, the, the knock has come back to my door and say, okay, it's time. Get up. Yep. It's time to get the work done. <laughs> get okay. it. Now, speaking of work, there is something else that we have to look forward to on what? Saturday. So, mm-hmm. this fashion show, this line, this launch. Tell us yes. about that. I already put my order in. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> so, right. tell us about that. Okay, well, I'll let Dwayne go first because we have a separate okay. kind of lines. Okay. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so for my apparel line, actually, it's actually mm-hmm. something new for me. Um, before I decided to actually create something different, I was already into uh, different designs for mm-hmm. my brand itself. So my brand has the original uh, look, the black and white look, but then I also wanted to kind of give it a personality. Okay. So I decided to give it um, color and I decided to give it um, a different look and a lot of people really took towards it and my cousin and my stepmom are two of my manufacturers so shout out yeah. to uh, oh, Led okay, okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. so what they do yeah, is maybe. they provide us with so many different uh, um, looks and so you guys will be able to kind of see some of that at the actual event and then we also worked with um, Marcus, which is one of Raheem's closest friends, yeah. who is a designer uh, for some of the pieces as well, who will allow us to actually be able to showcase some of that. So you guys will kind of see a little bit of, of that, but then the spiciness comes when Raheem comes out with his <laughs> underwear line. So I already know everybody's going to be like, what is going on? But it's just something okay. to leave, leave you guys with a statement, something that you can feel like, wow, we really went to something where these guys actually put their their um their all into it. So yeah, and then the underwear line is is um I love underwear and I've always been a fan of underwear mm-hmm. and um I just love the way underwear feel. So I wanted to create something more classy I do too. for On the flow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I wanted to create something more classy for men to, okay. to kind of feel sexy, to kind of feel um you know uh, mature, and to give the men something where they can be proud of. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, I'm big on material, and the material has to feel good. So like when we was in the uh, the fabric store, I was like, that don't feel, <laughs> don't feel good. If it feel good on my skin, I know it's gonna feel <laughs> right. good on somebody yeah, else's. Right, so right, that was right. the big thing for me. It has to feel good, and it has to. To, um, you know, kind of shape the body a little bit, mm-hmm. um, and we're we're looking to um, cater to all men. Okay. So we're definitely working on a plus size line. I'm we're just definitely say working on the fluffy yeah, <laughs> because I've been getting requests like, okay, you gonna have some for the big right, guys, no, and, need, right. and you so know, and I'm listening um, to the community. <laughs> I'm listening to the, you know to, to what other guys are saying, and um, I just want to make this the most impactful right. um, launch as possible. It's coming out in the spring. King Fingers crossed. Right. Um, so yeah, we're looking to release it in the spring, and then um, it's called Raheem Brazil Collection. Yeah, well, okay, I can't wait to see. I mean, it's gonna be nice to see these young men. In the Hold room. up, can I get some on Saturday? <laughs> huh? Can I get some on Saturday, or I have to like pre-order? And then it's pre-order. gonna be a pre-order okay. situation, like online. Everything's right. gonna be pre-ordered first to see how we're doing with the numbers. Right, absolutely. Right. Okay. But you'll definitely be able to get to see some of the pieces, so you can say, "Well, I like that pair. I like that pair." Right. We get all of those pairs right there. Now, so, what's yeah. the fabric choices? What's the fabric? So we got some silk, we got some cotton, mm-hmm. we got, I don't know all of them. Uh, <laughs> right, right. You just know how they feel, let's get your feet. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. So right. we got some stretch materials or whatever um, yes. the case may be, but um, like I said, we work with a, a designer, mm-hmm. Marcus, and I have another designer working with as well. His name yeah. is Robert um, with Jazzy Boy. So um, they know my wants and they know <laughs> my needs and, and yeah, what's expected. You know, what's expected because uh, when I want something, I want it. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's gonna be dope. I love it. I mean, I'm gonna enjoy this part of the show. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be nice for me. Yes, yes. And I'll take pictures, ladies. No, I'm not. Y'all need to come and check it out, okay? Just come and see. So how good. can people make sure that they're in the building? How can they get tickets? Where is it gonna be? Okay. Mm-hmm. So what we've done is we've actually created um, an event, right, of course. 
um, where they can go and they can just type in LUO Magazine where they'll be actually to and make sure you put Atlanta because it is actually here in Atlanta. Um, and that way, it'll, and it's the only one LUO Magazine that has a unique name. So when you go there, the tickets right now until about the end of day Friday will be fifteen dollars in advance, okay. twenty dollars at the door. We're gonna have a good time. The um, mm -hmm. shout out to Ultra Silver Lounge. That's the location where we'll have Ultra Silver Lounge. Ultra Lounge. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it so many different ways on um, Instagram, but I do apologize for that. Um, but you'll be able to go on, online, or you can actually go onto our onto our Instagram. I'm sorry, at LUL Magazine 13, and also click on the Get Tickets button, and it'll take you directly to Eventbrite to purchase those tickets. Yeah. That's what I wanted to know. Is there a significance with the 13? Because it's an email, it's in the social media. What does the 13? Yeah, mean? that was actually the when it came. That was when the idea actually came to full fruition uh, around the time. 2013. Was, yeah, 2013. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So it was dope. I had a different team then. I mean, they were so amazing, and a lot of people were saying, "Oh my God, is it what type of magazine is it? Is it an LGBT magazine or da da da?" But it's actually just an all-inclusive people's magazine. Right, okay. I love that. And so this time around, we're just including some type of fashion and style or whatnot. I've never really been like a fashion style kind of guy, but I did listen to a lot of the people that were reaching out and saying, you know what, you should kind of include some 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 pieces. So right. I'm like, you know what, let's do this. And he had already had the idea, so you know, why not? I mean, we have our hands in so many things and we won't stop. We're going to continue to go. This is just the beginning. So I want to say thank you, Atlanta, for receiving me because I was nervous. I don't know too many people here. I've only been here for about eight or nine months. So wow. we'll see how that turns so out. Still Welcome to Atlanta yeah. with a play is play, baby. <laughs> Okay. Thank y'all so much Thank for you. including me. Thank I you. appreciate that so much. We're going to have a really good time. Yes, Tell us where we can find you, everything, and what's about to go down. Most definitely, you can follow me everywhere at Raheem Brazil Online. Um, on Instagram, Facebook, you can follow me. Just type my name in. It's one I know ease in my name. And yeah. Yeah. And then for me, um, outside of the LUL Magazine 13 one, which is the actual magazine page, you can also find me personally at Dwayne the Boss because I am a boss. Okay. So that's D W Y A N E D A D O S S. And we actually have a, so a few tickets that we have free right what? now. So if yes, anybody's interested Shut in it, how many we got free? We got we got three. We got three free tickets. Yeah. Oh, Shout out to Waylon. We go awesome get all of them, bro. <laughs> so one of our supporters, Waylon um, Vamper, uh, we want to just thank him for uh, uh, supporting and, and purchasing yeah. three tickets. He said he just wanna he's he don't live here, so he wanted to buy yeah. three That's tickets awesome. and give it away to some people. Yeah. So, so we how can they get how like can they that. get those tickets though? Right now, um, what we have, I did post uh, how they can go as far as the instructions. Okay. They got to go back to it or just DM us and just kind of, you know. Yeah, if like you really want to come, just DM, yeah, DM us. Uh, know. If you know, if you're going to come now, don't don't waste our tickets. Exactly. Right. We want you to we want you to come <laughs> and enjoy yeah. and have a good experience. There's yeah. no line for them at the door, so they come straight right. in right. and all of that. And um, so if they want the tickets, they just DM us and let them know that we, we want these tickets we want to come. And y'all get to come see me? Yes! Yes! yes. You know what? If you decide awesome. to do like a little, a little song that requires the feminine voice, you, you know, know she already don't have a microphone. Yeah, oh. I'm trying to get my a little singing song. A little <laughs> song. She, she gonna sing us a tune? I'm gonna sing you a song. A tune. Oh, okay. okay. Y'all can okay. together. Together. You been trying to help. get me this. I'm gonna sing I, this. I, I, I am. She really wants to get me to sing. Now, when he cut my mic off, we gonna have a problem. <laughs> 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 so don't try it. I don't care how I sound. Yes. I'm gonna cut my mic off. Uh, everything gonna go down wrong. Thank y'all so much for coming to me. We appreciate it. Y'all give it up right now. Thanks for having us. We appreciate you. Team Marie, baby. We need yes, to know why do. are you single? <laughs> why are you single? Do y'all know why you single? Coming up, let's talk about that. Why are you single? I can't wait for if this you're single, one. oh yeah. It's Tim Marie Radio Show right here on Power 8.9. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, get my pictures now. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Ooh. Hey, hey, did I miss your hair? No, no, my no. ear was a little moist. A little moist. A little moist. Hey, baby boy. Eh. So, I'm plugging the after party. No, like I told you, I was saying he was trying to I was trying to maneuver around all that. Yeah, my wife. I'm trying to maneuver around all that. 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 I'm trying to maneuver around all that.
party. No, just turn it down. Yeah, just turn it down. Okay, where I'm going? Cue your own. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, yeah, how y'all put me to work already? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on the Yes, our lemon pepper wing <laughs> and a glass of Moscato. And a glass of Moscato. Oh That's she gonna need when she gets in the door. That's what she's gonna need. I love Moscato. Or tequila. Or must, they got a tequila Moscato mix like in the yes. Well, I know it's like wine and. I didn't know that. I know they have a the, uh, Malibu Red is uh, rum and tequila mix. Very good. Very good. Malibu Red. That's what it's Neo good. used to Y'all, promote a while back, wasn't it? Yeah. Malibu Red is awesome. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Smooth. Oh, I got that kick. I'm about to get that kick. Yeah, give me the kick. Yeah, give me the kick. Yeah, it's like that blue shit. Yeah. 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 Whatever they had that was blue. Y'all should have it make your like a signature drink of the ink. She, what was that lady saying? Did she say that? She asked us, um, and we just told her, like, just make like the blue MFs and the other stuff five hours. But y'all should call it something about this. Just for the night. Yeah. For the hour. So we can see what she can do with creative. So let's let's see what she got. So we can yeah. get to her and see exactly what she can do. So I'm so just glad like, they take care. Like so. Call it live juice. Some live juice. Live juice. Gotta get loud up here tonight. We ready? All right, y'all. I right. see y'all Saturday unless Friday. Y'all cooking. There you go. All right, y'all. Hey, Ike. Shout out to you, Ike. Hey, Ike. 
quick break. Hey, the sock box. Now, when you the hey, sock box. box. Ike, you hanging with me on Saturday? Chad. What's up, Why Chad? Shout out to we Chad and Ike. We had a good time last night. Janelle. Yeah, what's going on, yeah, sis? I was winding down Wednesdays. Wind down with no, and I haven't had any wine, which is yeah. shocking. Yeah. Okay. On a Wednesday? You have not had any wine. Y'all got, got one more, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Damn, this only 9 o'clock. Well, what's on that one? 19. He should uh, have no, been. We can talk about why you single anyway. I mean, go on, say why. Go on, say y'all like Eddie, Eddie better than me. What you talking about? We like Eddie too. I was watching. I said, y'all like Eddie better than me. I said, we like Eddie too. I don't say that. I was watching the show. Well, it's okay. Who said that? Look, I mean, I, the verdict's I, still out. We only know Eddie for like a minute and an hour and 30 minutes. Not <laughs> candy head on We love him. <laughs> Eddie didn't pass, Eddie beautiful. Eddie Eddie didn't pass beautiful. me that sandwich over there. <laughs> Right. I'm exposed that. Oh, that's that. That's that oh, weight washing sandwich. You don't want that. All that gray back there. Oh, if it's gray, I got it. You said it's weight washing. What is it like? Diet bread, <laughs> diet cheese. Yeah, nah, that's one point. Diet gray, though, for real. What? Uh, like bread. you get it from the store, like Kroger or something like that. Yeah, yeah, oh. it's just one point. Everybody's trying to be healthy. Y'all not trying to so, so is it a specific brand? Yeah, it really is. It's like high in sodium. I mean, not high. Fiber. High in fiber. Fiber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. High in sodium. So <laughs> Weight watch. Weight watch. Gonna have high cholesterol. Point, point based on weight watch. My mother uh, used to do that, and she. Yeah. The drinks. The. Everything. Yeah, we eat we eat whatever we want, but you just everything has a point value to it. Right. So whatever you scan, like that core is light, it's three points. Okay. You get twenty three points per day. Oh, that's twenty three points of food. You ready to? Yeah, twenty three points, points period. How many so no matter what it that? is, it's gotta be How many of them you gonna do Oh, that? I'm very strategic. I only drink like one or two a day. Oh, okay. Since I Damn, twenty three points. You ready to? Yeah, I am ready. Okay. okay. I'm nine. I gotta be drinking too many numbers. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna come over y'all's house and we gonna come do on. it together. Come, come over our pot. You can't stay there. I'm that up. I mean, I ain't coming to live. I'm gonna just come during eat time. Uh, 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 uh. We're back. Thank you guys for tuning in. It is Team Marie Radio Show right here on Power 108.9. We greatly appreciate you tuning in. We also appreciate you sharing this page and letting everybody else know that you're tuning in because every week we get new listeners, new viewers. Uh, new people who are excited about what we're doing and having fun with us, and we appreciate how you guys shared the video that we did last oh, week. That was really yes. awesome. We had what so was the dance? We don't even need the music. Right? What, we, uh, what was the dance? Uh, boom, boom. What boom. Was the name of it? I'm an older man. The uh, love all I'm women. Older man that loves all women. I <laughs> love it. Love all women. I still be jamming to that right now. Like, eh. yeah. Shout out to the thousands of views that we got we over there. We appreciate that. that. And if you don't, we went viral you know, for like twelve see, hours. Right. If you didn't get to see it, I will repost it because that was some funny ish. Like real talk, people still shade room. We still didn't it. get y'all to post, but y'all still got time. Y'all still got time in shade room. So thank you for tuning in and sharing. Let's talk a little bit about because we haven't had time. Q posted something um, earlier this week that really caught my attention, um, especially you know with me doing relationship advocacy and no more boyfriends. The plug. Also, don't forget, <laughs> no more boyfriends is not only available pre-order. Oh my God, y'all have the best interview today. That wrapping up some of the stuff that's going on in the book and it talked about intentions. And I don't know if I'm gonna talk about that today or not, but. Um, go ahead and follow the page and also go enjoy the website where our very own Micah and Micah, Michael Micah. and Tasha are going to be here. Michael is going to be our very first interview. I can't wait. The interview was awesome. So it will be good. on the blog. And we're, you know, I'm sharing people who are successful in relationships. I'm sharing singles and datings and, and everybody so we can get a hold of this relationship game. Because um, I know so many of you who want to be successful at this, and that's what I'm here for. I have actually hooked up my fourth successful couple. She ain't hooked me up. Yay! I mean, shout out to them four, but. My fourth successful couple, and I'm excited. I'm going to end it. Shut your ass up. So, with that being said, Q posted uh, a, a, a thing, whatever. A, a question. A question, and he asked everybody. Why are you single? So many people. So simple, yet it means so, so much. So complex, because so many people have so many reasons why they are single. And what were some of the answers that you got, Q? Like, because we were talking about it, he and, well, we, he and I weren't, but I was talking about it with somebody else. 
and people were talking about just the dating pool is terrible right now. Uh, they're not well, ready. That they feel like you're supposed to have a certain status. They're focusing standard. on their careers and goals. Okay. Somebody said by choice. They okay. feel that until they find the one that's worth their time and one who believes that they're worth their time, mm -hmm. they're going to remain single. Somebody feels like they haven't found their equal. Um, somebody said because niggas ain't shit. Okay. <laughs> I get a lot of that. I get a lot of that. And somebody said because God said so. Oh, God, he said that, child. Yeah, I created couples. Or at least somebody companionship. So don't talk about God creating singleness. You see how that's working for the Catholics? It ain't. It ain't working. So stop do, do, do. Right, right, right. There's a, only a certain type of person who can remain single and be successful. Uh, I'm not saying that you got to go get married. But what I'm saying is God created a certain type of person that could actually just exist in singleness. Now, I do think that there's a time for you to be single because you have to get to know yourself in that time. You have to get to know what you want in that time. You have to get to know what your needs are. You have, to get, you have to get to know who you are and be complete in some of the things. You have to know what your standards are. You have to know um, what you want out of a relationship. You have to know all these 